So what did the mechanic do differently that made this engine start when all previous priming attempts failed? Three things. First, the mechanic tested the system for leaks by clamping off the fuel return and used the diesel priming pump to pressurize the secondary filter input through to the fuel return line with 60 psi and watching for any change in gauge pressure. There was a small leak at an incorrect bevel fitting in the fuel return line. He also removed the valve covers to check for and disable one sticking injector. He decided to go ahead and try to run it on five cylinders. Second, the mechanic forced fuel through the secondary filter input on through the secondary filter and engine head fuel reservoirs and into the fuel return line until diesel flowed clear of bubbles. Third, the mechanic attached one end of a known good fuel line to the fuel pump input, filled it with clean fuel, and placed the other end of this fuel line in a container sitting on the bucket holder of a stepladder. The hose supplying fuel to the fuel pump input can be easily primed with a cup of diesel and a funnel with the help of gravity. The result was an engine that ran easily from the fuel container. To summarize, my misunderstanding was that I thought that the purpose of priming was to overcome the fuel pump's difficulty sucking fuel from the primary strainer, and this led me to incorrectly think that it only needed to fill the line between the primary strainer and the fuel pump, rather than bypass the primary strainer and prime directly at the secondary input. The most important objective in priming is to expel air from all the fuel lines beginning at the secondary filter input and going through the lines and fuel reservoirs to the cylinder heads to the fuel return line.